So it looks as though the juniors have their second dogs ready and we're going to move straight on with the first country. Hands together please for Australia. And Austria. Azerbaijan. Belarus. Bulgaria. Canada. Croatia. Cyprus. Czech Republic. And Denmark. Estonia. And Finland. And France. And Germany. Gibraltar. Guatemala. And Hungary. Iceland. Ireland. Israel. And Italy. Japan. And Lithuania. Macedonia. And Malta. Monaco. Montenegro. And the Netherlands. And New Zealand and Norway and the Philippines Poland and Portugal Puerto Rico and Russia Slovakia and Slovenia South Africa and Spain S Sweden and Switzerland Thailand and Turkey the United Kingdom and the United States of America. So remember, these young international juniors have only just met these new breeds. So Tomas is having a look at how they're stood. And then he's going to ask each of these international junior handling finalists to just move their dogs up and down very quickly, just once. And then he'll be assessing just how capable they are of turning their talents to a new breed. Really is amazing, the talent in this ring. This is the future of dog showing. The future is in their hands. And we do right to encourage them. So, as Tomas moves to the first, it's time for you to relax your charges. 
He's not looking at you now. He's just concentrating on the first of the competitors, and this is Australia. It's your turn to clap and to applaud for Australia. And for Austria. And this is Azerbaijan. We move on to Belarus. <laughs> Bulgaria. Canada. <laughs> Croatia. Cyprus. The Czech Republic. and Denmark. Estonia. Finland. <laughs> and
and France. Germany Gibraltar Guatemala Hungary Iceland Ireland Israel Italy Japan Lithuania Macedonia Malta Monaco
Montenegro. The Netherlands. New Zealand. and Norway. The Philippines. Poland. Portugal. This is a call for Mrs. Abbott, please, with the Weimarana. Could you please come to the collecting ring? Mrs. Abbott, with your Weimarana, could you please return to the collecting ring? Puerto Rico. Russia. <laughs> Slovakia. Slovenia. South Africa. Spain.
Sweden. Switzerland. Well done to Switzerland there. And Thailand. Turkey. United Kingdom. The United States of America. So that completes round two of the International Junior Handling Competition, Crufts 2014. The international junior handlers, as they take the second round dogs from the ring, will now be reunited with their first selection and will come back into the ring in a few moments' time. So just relax and enjoy the morning's competition.
So, ladies and gentlemen, our international juniors have been seen and assessed by our judge, Dr. Tomasz Jokl from Hungary. He's making his notes. And from these 45 finalists, he will make a short list of 10. But he won't be doing that or revealing his short list until this evening, because I think he's got some thoughts in his mind as to how they've performed today. But it will all be revealed in tonight's finale. So this is their last chance to impress. I know Tomasz is making some notes there. But they're going to be reunited with their original dogs of choice. And this is their very, very last opportunity for them to impress our judge and indeed you, the audience. And I can see we're ready for them to come back in. So this is a time that you can really applaud those that you think should win through to tonight's finale. And the first of the dogs is from Australia. Followed by Austria. The first of our new countries, Azerbaijan. Followed by the second of the new countries, Belarus. And Bulgaria. Followed by Canada. And Croatia. And Cyprus. The Czech Republic. Followed by Denmark. And Estonia. In you come Finland. And France. Closely followed by Germany. Now we see Gibraltar. And the third of our new countries, Guatemala. And Hungary. Followed by Iceland. And Ireland. Israel. Italy. And Japan. Lithuania. Macedonia. Malta. Monaco. Another new country, Montenegro. And the Netherlands. New Zealand and Norway, the Philippines and Poland, Portugal, Puerto Rico, Russia, Slovakia, Slovenia. South Africa, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Thailand, Turkey, another new country, the United Kingdom, the United States of America. So Thomas has his notes in his hands and his thoughts in his head. Well done to all of these 45 international junior handlers and a big thank you to those breeders who have lent their dogs today and a huge thanks to Liz Cartledge and her team. Tomas is now
thinking through just how well these youngsters have performed. And he will make, as I said, a short list, which will be announced at tonight's finale in the main ring. So we hope to see you all back here for the finale, the grand finale of this superb record-breaking entry international junior handling competition just before six o'clock here in the main ring, where all will be revealed. The 10 shortlisted grand finalists and then the three winners of the competition. So, Thomas has made that decision, which is handed to me, but is secret, and no one else will see that until tonight. But if I could ask Thomas to go into the middle of the ring, it now gives me great pleasure to ask the organizer, the brains behind this whole competition, whose effortless hard work make this look effortless. But believe me, there's an awful lot of hard work goes into this. Thomas. I'd now like Liz Cartledge to present you with a fabulous, fabulous memento. Tomash, before you leave, Tomash, 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 Val, can we hold the dogs, please? Val, can we just hold the dogs two seconds? Tomash, please step forward. Tomash, please step forward and meet Liz. This is a memento for Tomas for a fabulous job, and it is a superb hand-painted picture of the breed that Tomas lives with at home, a superb Cocker Spaniel. I'd love to own it too. Thank you for a great job. Thank you to Liz. Thank you to the kids. Good luck, and we'll see you all back here at 6 o'clock or just before 6 o'clock tonight. Please leave the ring, and ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for everybody here today. It's been a great morning. Thank you. Thank you for your support. And I would like to add my thanks to Jonathan Daltrey for a superb commentary, folks. Jonathan Daltrey. Well, a great start for the day, folks, and uh, I, like everyone else, will be looking forward to seeing the results of the judges' uh, decision in the evening programme.